hello everyone and <clears throat> welcome to my channel engineering tutorials so today we are going to discuss about what, how to save the file and the another more is that how we can archive it that is nothing but how to compress it so uh, let me just give you a small recap that what all things we have done in the previous video so we have studied about what is a uh, workbench interface and uh, 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 how we can launch into different systems the analysis systems or the component systems or the custom systems so uh, we have studied that we can do a multi-physics type of a problem in a single domain so that's the only reason it is called uh, ANSYS is called as in a project management tool apart from that today we are going to discuss about one more thing that is why uh, ANSYS is called as a project management tool so it's all because of uh, the saving file and uh, then uh, uh, saving a particular file in a single folder itself so it becomes easy for an as an user to fetch that file from that particular folder so let's see how we can save that file so i've created one analysis here uh, on on which i've done a static analysis and a modal analysis so uh, if i want to save this file then I will go for and save the file sorry I'll go for the files and then uh, save as in uh, a save as option here it will ask me that uh, what is a file name on which you want to save it and what type of an uh, file name it will be so it consists of the project file dot wbpj that is nothing but workbench project file so i have already saved this with the name of an static analysis wbpj so with the same name i'll just save it then after saving the file okay if now i want to exactly locate that where is my uh, a geometry is or where is my mesh file is so in that case what I will do, I'll go for an view option and then I'll retrieve, I will click on the option called as an files. So in this file, now in this simple analysis of static and structure, I can see here almost 30 files have been created. So in a single folder itself, I have 30, uh, 30, uh, 30 uh, uh, files in it. So how to exactly uh, share that a particular file? So suppose enough, I want to share this uh, this mesh to uh, to my uh, colleague. Then how I can share it? So it becomes quite difficult. So instead of going to a particular folder and searching it, we can make the use of this view and this file. So what this file can consists of? So it consists of the name of the file, then. Uh, it, it consists of this uh, sale ID that right now I can see that this data the A, uh, A3 that is geometrical data is shared with the B3 data so I can see the geometry has been shared then uh, similarly uh, uh, the uh, the engineering data is shared then the solution is been shared so in the sale ID itself I will be able to understand in the, then the size of the uh, size of that file what kind of that file is when it was modified and where is this location uh, exactly so suppose now i want a mesh file to be to be shared so in that case i'll uh, i'll go for a mesh file see mesh so it is in this folder so i'll just right click it and open uh, open the containing folder so directly i can see uh, get this file so uh, uh, in the desktop in the save uh, the project the static uh, analysis file in that dp global mac and uh, in that my uh, mesh file is there so in a single folder itself here in that uh, uh, geometrical data the meshing data the analysis data the engineering data the material data everything is sure, uh, uh, stored in a single folder that's the reason the second most reason why ANSYS is called as an a project management tool now for example uh, I want to uh, share this file okay so uh, if I if I go through my project and if I if I see a particular uh, size of that project okay then I can see the properties so it is almost about 15 MB 
so uh, right now it's a simple analysis then to it is uh, it is a 15 mb if i'm dealing with a complex geometry where in thousands of the component are uh, are there in my project so in that case our project file becomes quite huge so in i if i want to share this file to uh, to my client or if i want to share it fi my file to and uh, to my colleague so uh, uh sharing this uh, file with a huge uh, data will be quite uh, incompatible so in that case i can make the use of the option called as an archive so i can use this file option archive and where i will compress the file so that's the only reason here i can see that the file name static structure with the extension wbpz that is workbench project zip file so i have already created it so i can uh, uh, i i can save uh, save that file okay so in that file it will give me a, notif a notification that whether you want to share a result file or an imported file details also so i want to share both so i'll just archive it and then i can share that data now i have compressed that data now the second most question comes that how i can retrieve that data so uh, let's uh, let's see how we can retrieve that so i will just start my uh, uh, start uh, start my project from uh, starting itself and i'll go for the file and restore archive so in the restore archive i'll go to the directory uh, i will go to that file and in that i'll just uh, use this the same file wbpz file and then i'll just open it then afterwards once you open it will ask you to where you want to save that file okay so i'll save in a single uh, same folder with a different name okay it, this uh, this option comes to here when a client or your colleague is opening uh, the file so he can give a different name so i am giving here since i have saved it in my file earlier so i'm giving uh, giving a different name so once i save this file and then it will get retrieve everything so i can i can get my project again back to uh, after restoring that archive so this is how we can restore or we can compress the file and we can re restore that compressed file and we can save the file and as well as we can get to know that where are exactly the file is from and in which uh, uh, working directory it is so this is all about the uh, uh, this today's video in the next video we will be discussing about the interface of the design modeler and the various options which are used for uh, uh, for uh, uh, for solving a particular problem so uh, thank you and uh, <coughs> subscribe this channel okay thank you